Hello there guys, it's Tev1990 here. Welcome back to uh, today's live stream, tonight's live stream even. Uh, this is just a very quick uh, live stream. We're just going to do a 25% uh, uh, race distance uh, uh, race around the Silverstone circuit. This is um, basically uh, my tribute to uh, the legend that is... Uh, Mr. Murray Walker, so sadly taken from us not so many days ago. And um, for those that uh, will know, obviously Murray was uh, involved with Formula One. I think from the from the 1940s. I think it was um, right up until. I think the very early 2000s uh, when he retired um, Murray's voice for me was um, synonymous with Sunday afternoons uh, back in the 90s uh, hence the reason why we are using the 1996 uh, Williams because I think that's a rather nice looking car and uh, we are racing around Silverstone, but yes, his voice was synonymous for me during the 90s with Sunday afternoons, particularly when uh, my dad was on leave from the Royal Navy, as me and him would uh, sit there on the sofa and uh, he would have a beer in his hand and I would have my beer, in inverted commas, uh, <laughs> which was either a glass of coke or a glass of dandelion and burdock or what, whatever pop that we got in at the time so uh, yeah we'd sit there and we'd watch the race and like I say Murray Walker's voice for me that it just brings back a hell of a lot of memories of sitting there on the Sunday afternoons with my dad watching uh, watching the uh, Formula 1 so I hope you enjoy this uh, little stream and everything and my little, uh, like I say, tribute to uh, the great man. And uh, I think for those that, uh, I mean, I don't think there's a, a Formula One fan around the, you know, anywhere in the world at the moment that doesn't know who Murray Walker was. And uh, I don't think there's many people that either have an interest in Formula One or anything like that that don't do an impression of Murray Walker you know he was he just got a way about him and everything he was so charismatic you know, always always very excitable you know jumping around the little booth that they were in shouting at the top of his voice about something that had, was happening or just happening and if the race was going, you know, a bit slow and a bit, you know, it was, wasn't very interesting, Murray made it interesting. You know, you could always count on Murray to say something. And, uh, okay, you know, that really would well uh, that was a fantastic drive. make you, you know, smile, laugh, whatever. You know, I said, I don't think there's anybody that has an interest in Formula 1 that doesn't do a Murray Walker impression and some of the stuff that he'd come out with as well you know they, they called him his Murrayisms you know there is a, a video on YouTube of him somewhere and oh they you know they were just classics you know, it was like, you know, and here comes Schumacher coming into the pits. Oh, no, wait, it's actually David Coulthard, you know. Yeah, or, you know, I can't remember the words exactly, but uh, it was like it was something along the lines of Villeneuve is the car in front and he's got to be to faster than the car behind or something like that. You know, it was stating the obvious, but it was done in such a way that you just couldn't help but laugh. You know. And drivers alike. The so I tell you what, look, without further ado, let's get this on the roll. So let's look at the race strategy. Uh, 13 laps, if I'm coming in on lap 
Oh, looks like I'm not coming in at all on that one. Okie dokie. Yeah, let's use that. Right. So, it's like I said, guys, this is my... Uh, my tribute to the great man himself. It is just a shame that we can't have Maury Walker as the commentator on these. You know. But, uh, unfortunately, with Formula One, times move on and everything. So, I mean, the commentators now, they do a damn good job. You know, and they are really good at what they do. And I say, it's just, it's not the same anymore without uh, hearing the... Uh, you know, the famous, and it's go, 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 you know. So, with any luck, we will manage to make it into a first place position right, let's focus now for, the rest of the for uh, the end of the race, or to win the race, and, uh, like I said, that'll be, I think, any position that's first, second, or third will be good for me, you know. That'll be my uh, little uh, tribute to uh, Murray Walker. So I say, so without further ado, let's just try and concentrate on the race and then concentrate on not coming off the track because it's been a while since I was last on this game. Sod. Yes, guys. So we are using the 1996 uh, Williams racing car. I did have a choice of uh, which ones to use, and I decided the 1996 Williams one would be the best one. And for me, it makes the best noise as well. This is what I remember from my childhood. And it does remind me of the uh, the sequence in Star Wars, The Phantom Menace, with the pod racing. The noise from the Anakin Skywalker's pod just reminds me of these cars. I think we got him. Got him. Alright, so now I've got to stay in first place. So as you can probably tell guys, I'm still using the controller, I still haven't got around to getting the steering wheel yet. Uh, that is in the pipeline. Unfortunately, uh, paychecks and everything haven't uh, enabled me to go out and get something like that just yet. Because, uh, unfortunately, I've still been having to have a lot of time off with sickness and whatever else and obviously with the current situation the uh, pandemic so uh, yeah wages have been a bit sparse on the uh, on the old bank account I'm afraid so yes yeah, so I still haven't got the steering wheel yet but uh, let's say it is in the pipeline and when we do this should make this game a hell of a lot easier. I am trying to steer clear of playing this game at the moment because of the fact I haven't got the steering wheel. But obviously, like I said I decided that tonight I needed to do something to show my appreciation and uh, as a, a thank you for the memories.
I don't think I'll, oh, I was going to say, I don't think I'm going to get purple on that sector. Right, let's try and get all purples on this sector. Let's see if we can do it. And I do apologise if I'm quiet, guys, obviously. I am having to concentrate on what's happening in front of me and also the fact that I've just finished a shift at work so and uh, it's just uh, yeah it's uh, it's knackered me out I mean the work I do isn't physical in that sense it, it's just more mentally exhausting You know, all I'm doing at work at the moment is I'm sat behind a desk and everything, but it's what I have to do while sat behind that desk that's the the exhausting bit. But then again, you can't uh, really not appreciate the sound of that engine. in that oh I'm slipping letting it slip right um, hang on let's have a car behind Say again. Driver behind. Forest behind. The gap to the car behind is 4.8 seconds. The time last lap was a 1 minute 44.5. Fuel information. There's nine laps of fuel remaining. Okie dokie. Uh, so. Oh crap, okay. Yeah, I should have enough fuel. Tire information. There's eight laps of fuel remaining. Tire status. Tire condition is still looking good. There we go. Happy days. So if I've got a good four second head start on this lot then we should be okay. And if I keep going the way I'm going I'm not... I should be alright with my fuel and my tyres. Here's hoping I don't go and plant it into a wall. Oh, 
just the sound of that engine. Lovely. You'll probably hear the controller vibrate in there in the background. Oh dear. Got to get on it next lap. Got to see if I can get all purples. I'm sure I can do it. Again. I've got to do it at least one more this bloody race. Driver behind. Forest behind B gap behind us is 9.9 .9 seconds. The time last lap was a 144.3. Lovely, so I've increased my gap, which is good. Check my fuel information when I'm on the straight. Um, fuel information. That was the fastest lap of the race. Keep this up. We have five laps of fuel remaining. Brilliant. Ran bloody wide there, didn't I? There's five laps of fuel remaining. Yeah, okay, you've told me that, that's good. Right then. We've got four more laps to go, lovely.
tire status. No need to worry about tire condition for now. Everything's looking good. Oh, a bit of mud on the uh, the old uh, camera. Excuse me, camera there. corner there. Bloody hell. And there. Am I catching up with the back racer? I think I am, you know. Oh, this ought to be fun. Got a purple there, that's good. There's three laps of fuel remaining. That's fine. So I might just oh this is gonna be interesting. Am I actually gonna make it on the fuel that I've got left? Oh, and again. Don't want to do that. See, this is what I mean. If I had a steering wheel, I'd have been able to avoid that. With, with the controller, it's a bit... Uh, a bit dubious when it comes to steering at times. in concentration here. Be aware we expect the grip levels to start falling away soon. Okay. That's fine. Oh right, next two laps. I'm on it. Driver behind. Forest behind. Okay, the gap behind is 15.0 seconds. The time last lap was a 1 minute 44.0. Our gap behind is 15.6 seconds. Nope. There's only one lap of 
fuel remaining. Oh Christ. I don't think I'm gonna make this. I really don't. Go. Some information on Morena. They're slowing down. It seems like there's some kind of problem with their car. going to be able to do it on the fuel I've got left? That is the question. Wouldn't it be awful if it just died there? <laughs> Superb driving. That's there the we go. Win. Race win. Oh dear. There we go. That was my tribute there to the great Murray Walker. With uh, a race win at Silverstone. But I'm sure it's nothing compared to our drivers here. They've worked hard to make it up there. And it's great to see them. So then guys. I hope you've enjoyed the stream, if you have leave a like, subscribe to the channel and uh, yeah we'll catch you in the next one, I'll leave you to uh, watch the rest of this.